Good morning, Veg Inspired friends. We are excited. We have a great day planned for you. We're gonna kick it off with some grocery shopping, which means if you stay tuned, you're gonna get a grocery haul complete with our meal plan. We'll tell you all the things that we have planned for the week as far as meals and how the food that we buy goes into that. Keep watching, I'm super excited. I hope you enjoy these vlog style videos. We have now, at this point, on the day of recording, I've uploaded two, but by the time this goes live, we'll probably have three or four. In fact, this may even be episode five. So I hope you're enjoying them. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments other interests and topics you'd like me to cover in these vlogging style videos. And let's get into this video. We're back from the groceries and this is one heck of a haul. We have some awesome recipes coming up this week and we just, we're, we're stocked and we're good. And so let me run through real quick what we have, what it's for, and then I'll share with you our menu plan because I know that's what you're waiting for. So let's start over here. That smoothie in our last video really set us up to want smoothies and oats and all sorts of healthy, extra healthy breakfasts. So we went ahead and bought a few bags Five, a few with just five, of berries and mangoes. And then, so that's for smoothies and we've got some oatmeal bowls and we also have some French toast coming up. So those three things will be um, our, our weekly breakfasts. And then we also bought the broccoli. Um, and then we have the Ezekiel buns. We're gonna make jackfruit sandwiches with those. We have the bread that's for the French toast. And then we also have sandwiches that we're gonna make. We bought these sprouted corn tortillas. These are gonna be baked into chips to go with our fajita bowls. Uh, we bought some hummus for snacking. Again, this is oil-free and local to Port St. Lucie. We bought milk milks. We really like this milk. We're also really pleased with Elmhurst. So whichever of those two that you can get, they're really natural ingredients, whole ingredients, and we do like that. So we'll get that. We bought some greens. This is gonna go on our sandwich. And then we bought some spinach. We love to just eat some of our bowls on a bed of spinach and add that to bowls and wraps and things like that. So that's what that's for. We bought four russet potatoes. Those are for our twice baked potatoes to go with that broccoli and to go with this tempeh bacon. We do like this light life tempeh bacon. It is oil free. We love that it, you can cook it up and crisp it up and it's nice and delicious. We stacked up on our brown rice. We were out. We're gonna try this Kite Hill yogurt with our oat bowls. Uh, oatmeal bowls and we also got some firm tofu we bought some bananas for our smoothies we bought mushrooms for our fajita bowls apples for snacking black beans in a can and black beans dried the bulk bins at whole foods were out of black beans um so we bought these eden ones we got an onion we got these dill pickles we love them they're so delicious we have a cabbage to restock our cabbage. We have a couple carrots. We're gonna make a slaw for our jackfruit sandwiches. Down here we have some bell peppers for those fajita bowls, celery for our tofu sandwich, a bag of these red potatoes for those armadillo potatoes that you saw in a previous video. I'll link it up there. They are so good that we decided to make those again. We're giving these rice stackers a snack. I'm sorry. We're giving these rice stackers a try, uh, maybe with hummus or some veggie, veggie spreads. We got some of Mary's Gone Crackers. We love those. We were out of coffee, so I needed some of that. And then, as always, we got some of the 365 Sparkling Water in Pure. We really like that. Um, we also grabbed some of the Whole Foods soaps. We use, we use the Whole Foods soaps. We like those, so this is our grocery haul. Um, this will last us about a week. We've got some We've got some items that'll last longer than a week. You know the breads those go back in the freezer So we'll have those we might have extra spinach at the end of the week So it's just a matter of what we eat and how frequently we eat it. So hope you like this part stay tuned for our I'll show you the menu plan as promised I want to show you our menu so what I do is I write down the date and the day, and then these are the recipes we're going to make. So we're gonna make a French toast from the How Not to Die cookbook. 
the twice baked potatoes. You're actually gonna get to see those recipes because that's what we're doing today. And then tomorrow we're overnight oats or a smoothie and then we're doing the veg sandwich from the Engine 2 cookbook and then we're gonna have leftover potatoes because we are going to Biscayne National Park. So be sure you hit the subscribe so you don't miss that video because that's gonna be its own video as well. And then we have oats, burrito bowls, leftovers, jackfruit sandwiches, and those delicious armadillo potatoes. The Wednesday we're doing a smoothie bowl for breakfast and leftover jackfruits and smoothies and oats. And we're planning groceries for Thursday. Um, and then we have already picked out what we're gonna have Thursday night. The benefit to doing that is we don't get to the grocery store and say to ourselves, oh, let's buy this for dinner. In the past, we used to be like, oh my gosh, they have Beyond Burgers or they have no evil sausage, let's buy those for dinner. And then we'd end up spending another $40 on dinner. So this way, we already know what we're having for dinner Thursday after we get groceries. So there's no surprises to the menu. So I hope that kind of helped. That's a glimpse into how I kind of work it into our eating for weight loss lifestyle. And to update you all, the mo this morning I weighed myself and I am now down 14 total pounds. So 14 pounds lost, really exciting. I also dropped a pant size. So that is very exciting to me. But now I wanna share with you our how not to die French toast. So keep watching. Due to technical difficulties, this is the only footage we have of that French toast, but it was amazing. We just got back from my parents and we're making dinner. I went ahead and baked these potatoes at my mom's because they needed to bake for an hour and we were gonna be there all afternoon so we figured if we baked them then they'd have time to cool so that we could scoop them out because we are making the twice baked potatoes from the Plant Pure Nation cookbook which aligns to that movie. So let me know in the comments if you've seen that movie. It's a great movie. It's one of the first plant-based documentaries that we saw and we thought it was really powerful. We bought the cookbook and there's a lot of awesome recipes in it. But today we're going to make the twice baked potatoes and while we were at my mom's, because I told you in our first episode that we get mail sent there, we got an order of nacho no cheese, which is perfect timing because we're gonna use nacho no cheese in our twice baked potatoes. So exciting. We also got something in the mail for John. It's actually for both of us, but I'm not really a spicy fan. So we got... Habanero ginger. Habanero ginger what? Oh, uh, fix hot sauce. This is their new habanero ginger that's uh, soon to be coming out. Right now they have a Kickstarter going on. I'll put a link in the description below so you can do that. But they sent us this sample. Hasn't even been released yet. Oops, it's a bit heavy camera. Cute little sample. Exciting, it's a sriracha. John loves that, so we'll make sure we have him do a taste test later. Huge shout out and thanks to Fix for including us in this awesome launch. Anything else you want to say about it? Um, we need more than original, but <laughs> yeah, they have two flavors, original and lemongrass. Yes. Uh, they're both amazing. This is my, this is absolutely amazing. He says it's the best sriracha, so that's exciting that we found him one. It's all natural ingredients. Not a lot, no preservatives, right? That's why it has to be in yeah. the fridge. Yeah, okay. so organic. It meets all of our criteria for um, mostly unprocessed foods. So anyway, back to what we're doing. We're making these twice baked potatoes. So our russets were baked and they're, they're cooling. Right now we're heating up light life tempeh bacon to chop up and put in these amazing twice baked potatoes. I cannot wait. But just for a quick thing, this is the cookbook they're in. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's get cooking. Just scoop out the, I really messed up putting the broccoli in there. Whose cheese is that? That's nacho, no cheese. Nacho cheese. I'm just gonna scoop the broccoli out. I was so excited about broccoli that I put it in before I read the directions. So I'm just gonna get it. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> Why don't you ask me these things? I mean, you could just leave, leave it chunky. That, that'd be fine. That'd be fine with that. Hello? You think? Yeah. Just mash it a little? Yeah, I don't need that mashed. 
All right. Yeah, you don't have to mash it. You could just like half-ass mash it with broccoli in there. I kind of half-ass mash it. You think it's good? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get these ingredients. We need a cup of non-dairy milk. That'd be good in, in the instructions for that recipe to half-ass mash it. Be a, a kitchen kind of thing. A cup of non-dairy milk. A fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast, and I'm sure we don't have that. Let's see how much of this we have. That's about a fourth of a cup. We're gonna put nacho no cheese in it too, so that's okay. A teaspoon of sea salt. Calls for a teaspoon of sea salt, but we half the salt in all the recipes and then salt it to taste later, so I'm only gonna do half a teaspoon. Oh no, it calls for two tablespoons of roasted and smashed garlic. Hmm. Should I throw it in with the Just, just use garlic, garlic powder. Okay. Just use garlic powder. The garlic pronunciation. Garlic. Yeah. So what's the conversion? Um, I need two tablespoons of roasted and smashed garlic. Hmm. Two tablespoons. So how much? How many cloves are in a tablespoon-ish? Would you say three? So six. Cloves. So maybe a teaspoon. Yeah. Maybe a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. I guess, how garlic do you want, do we want it? How about three-fourths of a teaspoon? That's good, yeah. Uh, I also need an onion diced. Could just use onion powder. I think we have some onion, though. I think you can, you can say that we can just use those things, but those physical ingredients, like a whole onion diced, is going to add mass to this right. so then they'll be like nice and chunky overstuffed potatoes right we have scalings too don't we Ooh, we can put those on at the end mm, yeah how much onion oh, it says one onion really let me see what we have in the fridge i think we have some onion in the fridge I'll probably yeah, just it's probably funny. I'll probably just use half of this, honestly. Yeah. And maybe a little onion powder. Do you like my skills? I watched you the last time you did it. Did you see me? I just did a good job. Where's my gold star? Okay, there were a couple that snuck by me. But I think I did good. What do you think? Yeah. It's probably good. Perfect. That's like one small onion, because we buy giant onions from Whole Foods. And then bacon. I can smell the bacon. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bacon. I don't know how you can forget about it. All I smell is bacon. Mmm, these smell so good. I would have forgot about the bacon and then stuff the potatoes and go to put it in the oven and keep the bacon. Not me. Bacon's my fave. Tempe bacon, that is. Okay, the let's read. Be good. So a half a cup of Daya cheddar is the is the optional with this. So I'm trying to think if we want to use half a cup of nacho no cheese. I don't think it's crispy. Really? Should I put it back in? I don't know. It's not very crispy. Yeah. A little bit. 
Oh my goodness, it's so yummy. Okay, so I'll be the square and you can be the circle. Nacho No Cheese is a Pittsburgh-based company. And this is an almond-based, plant-based cheese. No oil, nuts, and nutritional yeast. And it's really delicious. We love it. It's like a burger topping on burrito bowls, things like that. So this time we're trying it in these. So I would say that's about a tablespoon. A big tablespoon. These are gonna be nicely stuffed potatoes. Look at all that stuffing for the potatoes. And then for you, so the they have three flavors. They have the classic cheese. They have the hot cheese dip, which has habanero, I think. And then this one has jalapeno. And then they have a tangy one. in the green container. All, all three of them are awesome. You guys know I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. So I let John enjoy the spicy ones because he loves spice. So I feel like when I eat, eat something that's spicy, it takes away from him being able to eat it, so. Yep. And then we just kind of folded it in. I think that looks perfect. So let me check on that bacon and we'll be right back. Joel's doing over there. I am cutting the cooked tempeh bacon and it's really hot because I just took it out of the oven and it's in place of the vegan bacon bits. We just love these tempeh so much. And since we were heating the oven anyway, we figured we could just heat up the tempeh. We know what the ingredients are. Also, something I wanted to talk about, I feel like we, we keep saying that we are avoiding and eliminating a lot of these ingredients. Please remember, we have been vegan for over five years. So we aren't brand new vegans who are eliminating meat, dairy, eggs, milk, yogurt, try, you know, we, we've already transitioned and we've already focused on a mostly whole food plant-based way of eating. So the things that we've changed since November, which is just five weeks ago when this video was filmed, are we reduced our the amount of processed items that we get. Now, that's not to say that we're not using almond milk because you just watched me pour it into this potato, but we're focusing on mostly unprocessed foods, minimally processed. That, that milk that we used was almonds, filtered water, organic sprouted almonds, filtered water, and Himalayan salt. There was nothing else in it. Elmhurst, one of our absolute favorite milks and creamers, that has hardly any ingredients as well. So we want clean, mostly unprocessed foods. Yes, we eat burger buns, but we eat Ezekiel. So we made the shift from the things that we were making into these mostly unprocessed. That's one little change as far as we're concerned. But we already made the big changes. We were, we've been vegan for over five and a half years. The other thing we're focusing on is whole plant foods. We're snacking on fruits and vegetables, seed crackers, oil-free hummus. We're not using a lot of the vegan analog products. Not that we don't like them, not that we don't support those companies, we do. But for us, we have a goal right now to eat as clean as possible and to lose as much weight as possible. We wanna be at our ideal weight. So. I mean, if you know anything about body or you've even read a glimpse into the How Not to Diet book, which I'll put a link in the description below because it's an awesome book, it's no secret that I'm probably labeled obese in those, in those books by standard medical guidelines or medical guidelines, not even standard because the standard American diet has such an obesity problem that the standard is probably higher than it should. I mean, it's just, there's just so much, but you don't have to be that way. This is after six years worth of articles and reading and educating ourselves on what's best for our bodies, what's best, what's gonna work best for us. So I just, I feel like we keep talking about the things we're eliminating and the things we're eliminating, but honestly, we're focusing on whole plant foods, minimally processed, ingredients that I can pronounce, almonds, water, fresh red bell peppers, nutritional yeast, 
sea salt, lemon juice, onion powder, jalapeno peppers. Those are all foods. You could actually eat those things. Well, I don't know if I'd eat a spoonful of nutritional yeast. I mean, I guess. I guess I eat, yeah, maybe. Maybe not a whole spoonful, but. That's, that's the difference. That's what we just recently changed. And it's making a world of difference. We feel great. We're trimmer. People are already noticing. It's only been five weeks. Like, I can't imagine where I'll be this time next year. So regardless of, you know, where you are in this stage, just know that that quote that says, a year from now you wish you started today, a year from now you'll wish you started today. So if you want to join with us, hit that subscribe and follow along. But I think it's time to get these stuffed. Three seventy nine. Let's get them in the oven. Yep. Fifteen minutes, or until tops are crispy and golden brown. So I'm trying this. You should totally open it. Explosion. You should totally open it. Uh oh. Explosion. I don't know what to tell you to do. Holy crap. Wow. Is it good? It's good. It's like it's like a uh, hot sauce, habanero hot sauce slash like a ginger dressing. Ooh! Would you use it in a peanut sauce? So yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Very fresh. Very fresh taste. I feel like you're gonna need to lick the bottle. Yeah. Is it addictive like your other hot sauces that you love? Yeah, I could probably drink this whole thing. I mean, you could go ahead and do that. I bet if I put man drinks bottle of hot sauce as the YouTube title, we'd get a lot of views. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It called for 15 minutes, but in our propane oven, things take longer. So this has actually been 25 minutes. And they look nice and golden brown. Nice. Thanks. Now the recipe says to let them cool for five to seven minutes. <laughs> so I guess we'll let them cool for five to seven minutes. These four are mine. I'm gonna garnish them with a little bit of fresh bacon. I don't know about you, but this is my kind of a dinner. I mean, potatoes, a cheesy taste, broccoli. I mean, I would dream of meals like this that are so rich and so savory and such a great comfort food. So I, I don't know. I am really, really enjoying eating this way. I'm ready to plate them up. We're going to go eat Give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Yeah.